We are looking at question 1A part 3 here from the 2000 exam, 2016 exam. So we've got an information question here and it's talking about how the claim is that female shoppers are more likely to taste the product than male shoppers. So we've got to be careful. The question here is just asking us to discuss why they should be careful about using the data to make the claim. So we're not asking to calculate the answer, we're just looking at what we want it, what the data can tell us or not tell us. So one thing that we want to just think about for a moment is the fact that we have a total sample size here of 559. Okay, so what do we think about that? Well, my suggestion would be that with a sample size of 559, um, so sample size um, is quite large. Um, which helps with accuracy. Okay, so that's one good thing about it. However, within that, we've only got a sample size for the males of 31. So that leaves me with a little bit of uncertainty there. With a sample size of only 31 from the males, that's not very, it's not a very representative size, and it doesn't give us a lot of information about the males. Um, so I'm going to say, but only 31 males, um, hence um, I have concerns um, about this um, small subgroup size. Okay, so that's one thing um, that, that we've got. So with that, with a small subgroup size, what does that mean? It means that our estimate um, is a lot less accurate. Um, and our conclusions are limited. Okay, because we can't be particularly certain about that. So that's one thing we want to think about. We also want to think about the fact that when they collected this data, they talked about how there was only one um, sample done. Okay, so this is a single sample. And they're asking people to taste products. So this will have been done in one location at one, um, one moment in time. Okay, so we don't know, for example, we don't know was it done on a Tuesday morning at the supermarket between 9am and 10am. Okay. If it was done at that time of the morning on that day, well, who would have been at the supermarket? Maybe it tended to be only um, mums with young children. Maybe it tended to be um, our older people who were retired. Um, so it wouldn't be capturing information and data from, for example, teenagers or family um, people that are people that are at work. Okay, um, so what it means is that leads to a sample um, that is not going to be representative. Okay, we don't know what the location was. Is it in a busy city? Is it in somewhere rural? Um, all of that kind of information. And that's what I want you guys to write about.